everybody, thanks for watching a lot. Uh, this is the round of golf that I just played yesterday at Lakewood Country Club. That's my friend Tyler, a high school golfer. This is uh, me. I run this uh, YouTube page, Be Better Golf. And uh, that was a good drive down the right side, but it did go into the bunker. This is Justin, he's a college golfer. And uh, hits the ball really well. And this is uh, Dave Rutowski, he's a uh, trainer of a lot of guys on the, uh, some guys on the PGA Tour and a lot of guys on the LPGA Tour, a uh, TPI fitness trainer. So what we're doing is David and Justin are playing against Tyler and I. So in the kind of a Ryder, Ryder Cup style match. So, um, you know, like one up, two up, that kind of thing, uh, best ball match. So uh, we're all just playing our own ball straight up, count everything. And uh, that was a, a 190 yard sand shot that I hit really, I blocked it to the right. And then I actually hit a really good pitch shot uh, to get under that tree, went through the green, and then here I leave it about seven feet short. Tyler was also in trouble on this hole, so that was a great putt right there that I made. That saved bogey still, but it was still a uh, huge difference between bogey and double bogey, especially on your first hole. Neither is good, but one you can recover from. That was a great swing there yeah, on this very uh, difficult. It's not hard enough. That water is all the way to the, uh, down the left hand side. So to keep from going left, I really have to feel acceleration through the shot. And that's my uh, cold glass wall and injured F star field that I'm still feeling if you look at the, uh, the videos back in my history. So uh, now one thing that's been happening recently with my wedge shots is uh, they've been feeling super solid, but they've been coming up short. They just haven't uh, been going as long. And mostly it's because, like that one, I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying be right to it, but it was actually it came up way short. So uh, check this out. So uh, my backswing's fine. I don't mind the inside move, but it could, then the hand path comes a little outside. But the main problem with it is I'm stopping too short afterwards. I want to start feeling like I'm wrapping the club around my neck, more of like an Adam Scott style finish, and less of these uh, just like a hit and stop, and more of a sweep right through the ball. So not an excellent bunker shot there, I mean not not bad, the sand at this course is actually really nice, it's uh, packed in really nice, see that, that practice shot, that kind of acceleration is what, what I needed afterwards, but so now I have about 20 feet for to save my par and uh, Justin and I are one down already and uh, oh, Tyler and I are one down already so that was really important to make that to stay in the match and not go two down after two so now we're one down my team is one down and we're going into this par three I got a bad yardage I think on this one uh, Tyler's rangefinder might actually have been set to meters uh, anyway so I hit what I thought was a great shot but that's Tyler's ball right next to me who's who's on my team so you can see uh, we both hit probably exactly the number we thought we were hitting but uh, you know you're every you're real you're responsible for your own shots so I should have confirmed that on my own anyway so this is for par both David and Justin made their par, so uh, t I have to make this one because Tyler has a difficult downhill. And that was a great putt. Uh, so, so we're still one down, and here comes... Uh, so I'm really thinking about how I'm going to keep my head back, and I'm going to accelerate my left hand fast down the line there. And uh, the tempo on the, that through swing was really great. That's why I replayed this shot in, in full swing. Just how aggressive it was. See how short uh, Tyler's backswing is. And uh, I would like to emulate that a lot more because I can get long and sloppy at the top. So here, um, the reason this camera angle is face on is because I can't see a thing. 
because I'm I'm uh, hitting my my ball directly into the sun. Can't see it. Felt good, but I had no idea where it went. Oh, good pin high on the right. Right, so I was pin high on the right, and uh, so this is I'm just about a foot on the fringe, and uh, like the case a lot of times when you're on the fringe, you actually end up over accounting for how much the fringe is going to slow you down. And this this putt that is going and bang, actually this was would not have been a give me recently, but actually I've, I have this program that I've been going through for my putting that's been working really well, so I'm putting much, much better. This is a par five, and uh, there's Tyler who's on my side, and he just killed that ball. That was his best drive of the day, I think. Actually, his one on 18 that you'll see is really good as well. So 530 yard par putt. Five. And uh, I, of course, it's par five, so I'm really trying to go after it. Problem is that I, I let myself uh, get a little high in the backswing and uh, swing down on it a little too much, which uh, makes me pull it. So I pulled it into left trees after it hit the cart path, and this was an awesome three wood that I hit under into that low window that you see there. And then it skipped off the cart path again, and it went 76 to the back with a little draw all the way to here. So 80 yards to this flag. I'm one over par at the moment. And same thing, do you see how I, on my wedge shots, I'm, I'm hitting them and stopping. I have to th really think about fully wrapping around because you can see that, uh, again, I came up about Let's see how many. About nine steps short, so now I'm 27 feet. But I'm putting uphill, and I'm putting well, so actually I kind of can give this one a run. And it's hard to see, but that's about only an inch left of the of the cup. So that saves par for me. Still one over par. Going into the 15th hole, this is a little bit of a break. We're playing from uh, what they call the rocks at Lakewood, which are like kind of the pro tees all the way in the back. It's like 7,050 yards uh, total yardage for all 18 from the rocks. That was a very good drive that I hit. Um, not totally out of the center of the face. It might have been a little toey, but uh, it drew and bounced really nicely. So this is my second shot, 83 yards. So now you can see in my practice swings how much I'm thinking about my wedge shots. Okay, I want to wrap it all the way up around my neck, totally finish. And I did a good job of that, kind of artificially manufacturing a finish there a little bit, but you can see my result was much better. And uh, I came up about 12 feet short, so this uphill right to left, going for birdie. We're still one down as a team. We lost the first hole, and every other hole has been squared with a par. And uh, that keeps the match and us one down. Tyler hit a great drive. He's a very good driver of the ball. Tyler hit a great drive there. There's a bunker uh, down, way down there on the right that, I'm, and you really have to miss a little bit left on this hole because there's a, a hard spot there that if you hit that, you can really get some serious distance out of. But I got ahead of that a little bit. Very solid, but it started leaking on me. I'm on a very awkward line. I have to work on those awkward lies. I, I was nervous for a second when I hit that, that I almost broke my wrist because it, it hurt extremely badly when I hit it, but then the pain went away and luckily it didn't come back. So there I put a little square around where the flag was and there was no grass on that ball. So that was actually a really great shot that because uh, there was no grass under that ball. So a great shot to get to here. I'm about 11 feet away, and that was David securing the par for their team on this hole. And Tyler had a little bit of trouble here. So he's got seven feet, or he's got a few feet for par left. So I wanted to oh, make this. Oh! And I did. Like I said, that this putting program that I'm that I'm gonna put out soon on my channel uh, has just been working wonders for me. These three things that I do to get my putting back. So that's really helped. So Tyler just hit it pin high on the right. He's got about like a, a 35 or a 30 footer and uh, 168 yards or so 
right into the sun again. And that was super solid. That was a really good pass of the ball there. And uh, so here I'm really just thinking about um, I'm really just thinking about keeping my head from going left on the way down. So I'm trying to get my arms in front of me and using that ninja star feeling with a slightly bowed left wrist through impact so that I could drill it low. And that's a nice finish with nice high hands. So that's me down there where I'm standing next to my ball right there. And that's Justin walking past me, kind of check, checking out his ball. Justin's ball is up off the screen to, to the left. He has a birdie putt as well, and uh, he just made his. That closed us out. No, I can make mine. You're right. I like your thinking, though. You're for birdie, right? <laughs> so Tyler corrected me. That didn't close us out. We still have a chance. Tyler could make his birdie He's putt to extend the match, or I could make mine. So here's Tyler's birdie putt from off the this. screen. And he just barely missed his. He kind of couldn't make anything that day. And uh, so I need to make this to extend my match, and I told you guys that I've come on, come on, been putting come on, well. Yes, yes. <laughs> that felt great to make that putt. And it's funny that you go around thinking like, oh yeah, you know, I played pretty well today. But start, when I start thinking about it, you know, stats-wise, greens and regulation, how I hit my irons, how I hit my driver, it was about the same as I always do. But uh, my putter was just on fire, really. But uh, the putter can just make you feel so much better about all other aspects of your game. Justin hit a really nice shot here. Not because it was the most perfect shot, just because the miss was so good. He hit a block uh, on this hole okay, on this uh, tee shot where your miss had to be a block. So that's what I really admire about him. And uh, I hit uh, a solid low shot that was a little bit pulled. So, so you have to know your miss. Justin knew his miss and he blocked it and he's in a perfect spot. I knew where the miss should have been, but I wasn't able to do it, and I hit it in the bunker. Tyler there, who's swinging there, he just hit an awesome shot. Just He's only like probably 156 pounds, but he can really hit it far. Now David just, just demolished this one. He works on a lot of power exercises. Him and I are going to do some workout videos uh, that uh, kind of showing us the things that he does with his PGA Tour clients and amateur clients. And uh, is a, he has a lot of power. He's a big guy, but he has a lot of power just inherently, but also from the stuff that he does. That was a great shot to get out of that bunker because there was a little bit of lip trouble, and uh, I advanced it to about 190 yards for my third shot. So uh, I do have, like a lot of amateurs, a tendency to have a post-birdie mess up. Well, you know, PG version, PG version, but so I'm really concentrating on not doing that. That was a solid shot. It started out right at the flag, but it started bleeding a little bit. I, I went a little bit down too much at right, it. I don't so want to. Tyler and I are a team and take a huge divot. Justin and David are a team. We're one down after I just birdied on the 17th hole. So we're uh, Tyler and I are one down. Justin is one up. So, but they have basically both have these equal distance wedge shots, kind of like a wedge contest. All right, so that's Tyler. I kind of missed his swing there, but he hit it pretty good. It landed right at the stick and then jumped out to about 11 feet. And here's Justin. I was able to get the slow mo going for this one, and he's got about 80 yards. You can see how short compared to the 80 yard shot that I took earlier. You can see how much shorter on the back swing he did, and then you can see it. His follow through swing was perfectly equal on both sides. That's for birdie for me. This would have squared the match, but I missed it, and that was about uh, three inches, which I tapped that that one in. So I shot even par. So I was fairly happy. I was happy. I mean, let's let's not deny it. I was happy to shoot even, but it was mostly from putting, and uh, I hit some I hit some good drives too. All right, here's Tyler. He can save me five dollars by making this putt. And that was his story all day, just burning edges. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe right, that, to this that's channel. It, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, click like and subscribe. See you later.